had an entirely different joke today. And then as the day went on, I was thinking about it and realized that's 30 Rock. It's a joke from 30 Rock. One joke or idea for a joke or a premise or maybe this will be something at some point every day for a year, day 30. This is a long one. Just gonna let you guys know it's a long one. I had a middle school teacher who was really hard on me. Uh, his teaching style was tough, bordering on cruel, and I cried often. Recently, I was doing a show and I couldn't believe it, but that teacher was in the audience. There's something so incredible, so satisfying about being in the middle of telling a joke to total strangers and seeing the guy whose fault this is. Like, dude, if you had just taught me math, I wouldn't be a clown in a brewery. Yeah, it's, it's long, but I like it because it's true. That's a real thing that happened. I was thinking about people who have teachers in their lives where they're like, ah, yes, this is the person who is the reason why I became a writer or that's why I became this or they really encouraged me. And I was thinking about it and I did have some of those teachers who I'm very grateful to, but I also had a teacher who broke me. You know when you know the impact somebody had on your life and then realize they have no idea the impact they had on your life. I'm also doing the artist's way and uh, you know, part of it is figuring out like who, who has impacted you in these very positive ways and who has impacted you in these very negative ways and the internal voices that you hear in your mind, like where does that come from? And I was like, oh, I think some of it came from this teacher. I think a lot of times when I call myself dumb or stupid. This is also the teacher who, when I was in seventh grade or eighth grade, I was sitting on a chair that was broken and uh, while I was sitting on it, the chair completely broke and I fell down on the ground in front of my class. And then he went and got a scale and brought it to me. So I don't feel bad about writing a joke about him. I, for, first of all, the joke itself, I like that it has like a, it's a good twist. It's like you, you think it's gonna be this moment of glory for me of like, I was standing there telling this joke in front of this group of people. And it's like, no, it's not a moment of glory. It's not a moment of triumph. It's like, God, I, I can't believe the decisions that have led me to this point in my life. I'm also reading Sam Talent's book which is about a comedian, like a road comedian, who is just going through it. And it's just like performing at the worst places you can imagine. And, I, and I've and i done that stuff too. I'm very lucky that I'm not in those places very often anymore. But I was thinking about like, yeah, there's a life that I've chosen for myself that we've all, that all of my friends have chosen for ourselves. Sometimes somebody will ask me like, how did you get into comedy? And I go, oh, I'm broken inside. And if they laugh, that's how I know that they'll be a friend for life. They usually don't laugh. They, they're usually just like, uh, okay. Usually I try to stay away from jokes about comedy because I don't think it's that interesting to other people, but I do like this one, so. We have house guests right now. That's why this room is a little, um, a little, looking a little different. Okay, see you tomorrow.